Did you up until February own a catering company? Uh, no, actually a friend of mine moved to Melbourne and I helped her set up a catering company. If you look at the internet, it's a whole lot more than a little bit of catering. No, no, no. I did own a catering company in New Zealand yep. when I was younger, which I sold about two years ago. And Mark, are you the general manager of a fine dining restaurant in Melbourne? Uh, no, that's I'm not. what Google's also revealed. So it's your LinkedIn profile that's given all this information. So that's all incorrect, what's on LinkedIn? That's just fake? No, OK, well, OK, full disclosure. Yeah. My previous uh, role was general manager for a company that owns multiple top restaurants in Melbourne. Voila, there it is. I have approved dishes, I've written menus, I've corrected chefs, I've got 20 years' experience in hospitality. But you're actually just a poker player. But right now, right now yeah, I've, yeah. Been, I've been playing poker yeah. professionally. We were right. They are shady. They are lies and they are deceitful. We just feel like that it's all been hidden from us. So is this this whole weird secrecy weirdness? It's not secrecy because any question that's asked to us, we answer. Like, truthfully. What do you do for a living? Anymore? I'm a professional poker player. B.S. You get a lie, you get a lie, everybody gets a lie tonight. It's an Oprah moment. <laughs> There's this thing that's called lying by not revealing information. I, uh... You're in a food competition. Tell us your food history. Why would you hide that? Can I just yes, please, say, um, we have not once in this competition been dishonest. I am a food photographer in the current moment. It's just like you're hiding what no. you know about food. Don't hide it. It's We're not, We're not hiding, hiding it. it. Mm. No one ever asked us no our food history, Shaz. Get out of town. Stop being ridiculous. Yeah, but... Lauren is now very upset and she's starting to cry and I'm just like, tears to me just, just spells that they've been caught out. Look at them, they still need to get a dessert out and you're making them bloody cry. It's not cool. Let them... We're all honest, they Let them go and do oh, their well, book. Nah, man. This is their strategy. They're going to rattle them and just throw them off for dessert, you know? Please. Uh, Please. Look. No, Ben, I don't know why you're defending them like this. We're allowed to have an opinion. You can have an opinion, but oh, you're just rocking up. up listening oh, to you. Another no! Night. Ben, relax. You need to relax. You've I am your totally story. relaxed. No, mate, I'm not the one in the wrong here. Like, don't try to shut us down. We want to get the cards on the table. It's a poker game, isn't it? If you've cooked for 20 years, but you stopped a year ago, you think that's not important? We've cooked for 20 years. Hey, let me, tell, let me tell you something, Shaz. Oh, my God. If I've been cooking for 20 years, you've been cooking for twice as long as me. So maybe you should be twice as good as me. <laughs> good call, Mark. Good call, Marky. That was a good one. If I was you, I'd keep your mouth shut and stop it. Look, Chaz, honestly, I'm really sorry that you feel like that, but it wasn't intentional, I promise. Don't hide it. It's a food competition. Stop! Everyone, stop! Please just let them cook. Thank you.